Well, welcome back to uh, Exhaust Sports Auto. My name is Kevin, and you are here to witness the 2019 Genesis G70 H track all wheel drive with the uh, two liter turbocharged engine. Who do we have to thank for this little opportunity? Well, it is actually none other than Capital Mazda of Cary and Will Rodden. So, Massive shout out to them. I will once again be leaving their information down in the uh, description box below. If you would like to purchase a vehicle or a Mazda or a Lincoln or whatever you want, all their information will be down there. So let's just go ahead and get into this little review, shall we? Because I have been wanting to you know, do a proper review on this thing for quite some time now. And uh, I kind of lucked out here, kind of got like this Havana red G70. So it certainly looks apart. It does look amazing. It's such a handsome looking car love that so much there's really not a bad angle on this thing it's almost a little alfa romeo ish in the front end thank god this thing has the 18 inch wheels on it actually i'm going over some of these uh, rougher roads here and uh, those 18s with the uh, the michelin touring tires 225 wide tires all around definitely helping out soaking up the bumps so let's get into this shall we um this vehicle right two liter turbocharged so produces about 252 255 horsepower something like that and about 260 pounds feet of torque now that's kind of like right in line with like the little 330i bmws and a little c300 benzes you know stuff like that that little category i personally i've actually owned the stinger i've actually driven like every iteration every engine of the uh the stinger as well so i've driven the two liter version of that and I've obviously owned the other 3.3 liter twin turbocharged Stinger, and I actually currently have a 440i BMW. I've driven all the little three series cars, including the new G20 three series as well. So this is gonna be a good proper test to see kind of where this thing stacks up in the, uh, in the little hierarchy, I suppose. The biggest advantage that this motor is going to have is gonna be the fuel economy. You can easily see within the 20 MPG range um, for the city and like in the 30 MPG range on the uh, on the highway, no problem. But with the uh, the 3.3 liter, dude, that thing just pisses out petrol out of the, uh, the exhaust pipes. Expect to see like 16 MPG in the city with that thing and like barely 25 on the highway. So that is one huge advantage of this two liter made it to this eight speed auto. Now there was a manual transmission, but even the enthusiasts despise that transmission so i would never honestly get that um choice honestly and it's just an absolute shame but you know it is what it is but this eight speed combination though this in-house built eight speed love it definitely one of genesis hyundai kia's like best work ever i love their in-house built transmissions they always nail it honestly and you know a lot of people are like oh but it's not as good as like the the zfs or whatever that they have in the bmws honestly it's just so smooth and there's no like weirdness with this transmission i really don't care i really do truly like this transmission but it has to be said though this vehicle it is actually based off of like the stinger platform essentially and as some of you may know i'm actually not a huge fan of that stinger i got tired of that thing in like three months i absolutely just threw that thing in the garbage i i was so done with that vehicle and i'll tell you some of the reasons why so that stinger it was sloppy and i'll tell you why it was sloppy so the chassis on these vehicles it's already not the best to begin with it's not like the g80 i've owned the g80 as well that thing is so legit love that thing that thing is the g80 is actually one of the closest to being perfect cars that are that, that is out right now so there you go that's how i feel about that but the g70 and the stinger platforms so the chassis isn't like as tight and rigid as it is in like the three series cars what they did compared to the g80 was they stripped away the double wishbone suspension that thing was like lotus tuned all that stuff and they actually went for a strut based suspension a lot of cars use a strut based design for the suspension porsche bmw a lot of legit driving cars camaro mustang but those are tuned properly Th these cars it was more budget based but the other main thing is that the stinger was a hatchback and being a hatchback there's a bit of a problem those hatchback sedans they never quite have the rigidity that these proper sedans do and like this g70 for instance and i can say that because i actually have the 440i bmw and i've driven the three series cars the four series grand coupes they're not as solid as the three series cars because that hatchback design really, it adds a lot of weight and it adds a lot of like bracing and all that stuff. And it just never ends up being as solid in the rear end as a proper like sedan is. So that's one of the main advantages that this G70 has. 
Obviously, this thing with the uh, the H track all wheel drive grip is never an issue. I do hear that uh, pumped in audio, of course, coming through the other uh, speakers, but as a driving experience, this is so much more solid than that um, than that Sting wrist. Like, it's not even a competition, honestly. Yeah, this thing it is so much more solid like and i honestly i felt that even when i got into this vehicle just the build quality and the solidity of this cabin i automatically knew that this was built to a totally different caliber than that stinger and so far in this driving i feel it now compared to something like the three series cars right i think that's kind of the benchmark so i've actually dr recently driven the g20 three series and I've driven like the f30 cars right and i love those cars so much they're actually one of the most rewarding cars that I've actually driven for the for street driving and I must say that I guess the chassis isn't quite as good but this actually does feel pretty similar to the F30 the main difference I saw in the G23 series is that they improved the chassis it's a very solid chassis and those things whereas this it's not quite up to par there but I have to say this rides way better than the 3 series does uh, way better than the Stinger 2 actually it's not quite as good as the uh, the G80 but at least with these 18 inch wheels, it's helping out a lot more. There's nothing stupid and unnatural with this car. There wasn't anything unnatural with the with the, uh, the Stinger either. You know, everything from the steering to the brakes, I mean, everything feels very natural in here. So I do definitely appreciate that. But yeah, I'm definitely getting three series vibes. Um, it's not quite as rigid as that, but yeah, that ride quality just makes this so much more of a pleasurable driving experience. This is actually a vehicle that you can be satisfied in driving in. Now, it doesn't have that quite that same substantial quality feel that that G80 has. The G80 weighed a lot though. It was like well over 4,000 pounds and uh, you felt that that thing really just dug into the tarmac and it just gave you that quality, like luxury car, reassuring feel. This thing weighs about 35, 3,600 pounds. Only weighs about like 150-ish pounds less than the Stinger. So not a huge advantage there, but less is less. That less weight, you know, should actually translate into slightly better you know fuel economy a little bit less you know unsprung weight and all that and in the corners there's going to be a little bit less body roll and there is definitely a lot less body roll in here this is definitely tuned much better and like i mentioned this is a proper full-on just sedan it's not a hatchback so it doesn't have all the extra weight and all the extra bracing and all that in the rear end now obviously you're going to lose out on a ton of just practicality because of that and you know we'll get to that in a bit but there's certainly lag coming from this thing. Like when you step on it, you'd either have to have this thing in sport mode, which just, it sucks up a lot more fuel if you do that, because it's gonna be hovering around 2,500 RPM, even at normal, like 45 mile per hour driving. So that's one of the big disadvantages there. Now, yes, there is obviously the 3.3 liter six cylinder engine option, but honestly, even then, like, at least with the Stinger anyway, I noticed that lag with it. So there's just something that I guess, it's a great feeling transmission when you're up and moving, but like, you know, in terms of smoothness, you know, in, in town driving, stuff like that, but it's definitely a little bit slower to react, but this is a quality driving experience for the most part. It's not the sharpest thing out there, but Hyundai Kia Genesis, you know, they do that, you know, jack of all trades thing pretty damn well. And that's kind of what this G70 is trying to do. And I can appreciate that. I can happily say though, if you're in the market for a Stinger, don't get this thing. If you care about driving anyway, uh, this is a far superior driving experience. Like if you want to be different, if you don't want to get that German car, if you don't want to, you know, blend in with everybody else, this thing is going to pop, not just because it's Havana red, but this is just a totally different option and choice, right? And I'm glad that this thing exists and I actually do enjoy driving this a little bit more than that Stinger anyway. Actually, I, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I enjoy driving this way more than the Stinger. This is leaps and bounds way ahead. It's actually similar to the F30 3 Series. That's actually the closest comparison I can make. It's not quite up to snuff in terms of driving like the, uh, the G20 3 Series, but that's kind of to be expected. This kind of came out before that anyway. But like I mentioned, that ride quality massively improved so that's something you can enjoy there but again i do have the 18s on this particular model now, i mentioned stinger a couple of times here i mentioned practicality so, so the rear leg space that's really where the drawbacks start to occur so 
there's really not a lot of space back there for me. I mean, I obviously I fit, but anything above six feet tall, it's going to be an issue back there. And that's, this is some of the worst rear leg space I've seen for this class. Like the three series cars, the C classes, stuff like that, way more space. So that's something unfortunate, but hey, I mean, this does look way better <laughs> than those cars. Um, so there is that. I will say though, the trunk is actually a huge, like relatively huge size. The opening, like the, you know, how tall it is, it's not super big in terms of that but it's just super wide and it's like it's really deep so it's got that going for it. it's a pretty practical car in that sense there's a spare tire back there as well so that's a huge plus point as well now this interior though definitely a huge highlight for me as soon as i got into this thing everything from just closing the door just the heft to it this interior like the fit and finish all that stuff love it very high quality that Genesis quality definitely far and superior to that Kia Stinger for sure. When I was driving this thing, I did not detect any real um, creaks and rattles. Again, this thing is brand new, only 383 miles. But dude, like when you touch up on things, like just the tactile feedback from like the buttons and all that stuff, this old drive mode selection thing, I actually do really like this. Um, you know, gear selection. Uh, it is similar to the uh, the Stinger and that shift by wire thing, but. A little bit more of a better tactile feed here and just the buttons like the fit and finish love it really special by far like much better than even some of the german cars actually there's that quality there's that easiness like of using everything and just a nice tight solid feel they did a great job making this interior feel great but also being special at the same time i do really like that obviously this quilted leather has a great look to it as well this is the black leather but still looks very good in here it really matches with that havana red um, but the seats are so damn comfortable even in the front and in the rear as well so uh, even though there's not a ton of room back there the seats are so comfortable that it kind of makes up for it this uh the steering wheel here it's the perfect size it is actually just just has a great feel out on the streets, but just a nice thing to grip onto. They always nail these things, like all the little tactile things. Hyundai, Kia, Genesis, they always nail those things right there. And just everything that you touch and feel on a day-to-day -day basis feels great, so I love that. You do have auto uh, one-touch up and down window switches. Always love to see that. And all the buttons, everything, they have a nice finish to it. It does actually feel like a legit premium vehicle and this vehicle it is optioned up pretty nicely you know prestige package like the luxury package whatever it's got it's got a few packages and stuff going on um, but like i said it is heavily discounted because you know it's at this dealership but it is still a forty six thousand dollar msrp vehicle and for that you get auto headlights auto like windshield wipers pretty much auto everything and it's heated and cooled everything from the steering wheel from the seats all those things work perfectly on these like genesis kia hyundai cars hvac you know you you press those things all of it works instantly love it this screen right this eight inch screen with the apple carplay android auto works perfectly a lot of people were complaining like oh it should be bespoke for genesis I don't do not screw with any of the technology in this car because they nail that so one of the things that i don't like about the german cars is that they are inundated with tech i have no idea how to use it they're all buried in the screen or something and you know they come with probably the same amount of features as this probably more but i have no idea how to use it i don't know how to get to it it's not digestible what the Korean companies do here is they give you a bunch of tech, but I don't feel overwhelmed by it. I can actually use it. I can actually engage with it. I can actually like take advantage of some of these features here. Everything is so simple to use. There's a bit of lag with the screen, but otherwise, you know, everything is digestible. And I really, really do appreciate that. Climate control, you know, all that stuff is laid out extremely well. But the one uh, drawback is you do have to look at the screen for the temperature. I just wish that they would implement all that stuff completely separate from the screen. I would really appreciate that. I know they do that with some of the vehicles. I would really appreciate to see that here because this is one of the more, you know, obtainable Genesis cars, right? You do have some, you know, quick, easy to use buttons right here as well for the infotainment. That's great. And this thing is actually outfitted with the Lexicon 15 speaker. Dude, this thing is bumping in here. This is a legitimate sound system. Love their Lexicon systems. Their Harman Kardon thing, you know, it might be like the same company or whatever, but like the Harman Kardon and the, uh, the Stinger I had pales in comparison to this. These Genesis sound systems from Lexicon, they sound incredible. Love it. Definitely worth the money for sure. So I would highly suggest optioning that. Now, kind of end off with the, uh, the gauge cluster here. Really simple to read. Again, same as the infotainment here, the 
center gauge cluster thing, super easy to use. You know, it shows you a lot of great information. It's just really easy to operate and use this little center help screen and all that. It's all operated here through the um, through steering wheel buttons, logically laid out. You can you know change the music, change the volume, all that stuff from the steering wheel. So I really do like that. Safety features, safety features for days. You don't have to worry about that. But yeah, dude, this is a car that I actually do like. This is a car that if you're in the market, I think you would appreciate this. No, it's not quite as crisp to drive as like those German rivals, but this vehicle makes up for it in other ways. And I do appreciate that. Like from the ride quality, it's definitely much improved. It's not like the G80. I still do think that the G80 is superior to this. And that just obviously makes sense because it's one above this vehicle. Uh, a lot of people really, uh, deprive that car because you know it weighs a lot but i actually feel like the curb weight of that g80 is what gave it that high quality feel obviously that chassis the way that suspension was tuned all that was just magic i really appreciated that this quite isn't up to snuff but even though this was built to be like on a more budget platform or whatever this is doing a good job of hiding that this actually feels the most premium whereas the stinger you could kind of feel all of the little places where they you know save the money like you know the drive everything about it was just super sloppy whereas this being an absolute solid sedan really makes it drive a lot better so if you're looking at a stinger and you don't need any of the practicality like you know you're not going to use any of that space like in the trunk and the rear seats and stuff like that go for this g70 because you can at least put people like six feet and under in here not have too many issues it's comfortable the seats are comfortable those are great things there tech is obviously really great the build quality, the solidity of this cabin, the quietness of this vehicle, it's all really excellent. So with that, it's definitely a vehicle to consider. Um, I definitely do appreciate this vehicle. It's very BMW-esque, I feel like. Um, it has that kind of vibe going for it, like an F30 vibe going for it. So with that, um, if you're interested in this vehicle, once again, Capital Mazda's information will be down below, but that will do it for this review. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.